Ashley, Caitlin Armstrong is now several hours into her 90-year sentence for murdering Mo Wilson. And just like the guilty verdict, it didn't take long for the jury to come up with her punishment. When the jury rendered their verdict, you could hear the sobs from Armstrong's family, most notably Christine Armstrong, the defendant's sister. The emotions continued in the courtroom when Caitlin Cash, Mariah Wilson's friend, the woman who found her bloodied body on the bathroom floor, took the stand for the third time in this trial. She directed her final thoughts at Caitlin Armstrong. They finally let me wash the blood off my hands in the police station bathroom. And I'll never forget that moment in the bathroom. Watching the sink turn red and wanting to put it back on my hands because it was the only thing I had left of her. <clears throat> Your actions caused that pain. Karen Wilson, Mariah's mother, also addressing Caitlin Armstrong through teary eyes, telling her what she did to her daughter has ripped through her entire family. When you shot Mariah in the heart, you shot me in my heart. You shot Eric. And Matt in their hearts. You shot Mariah's cousins and aunts and uncles and all the people who loved her pierced their hearts. You will have to live with your choices and its consequences. Caitlin Armstrong still has to face another criminal court for her attempted escape from police custody back in October. Those charges and that sentence will be completely different than the punishment she just received for murdering Mo Wilson. Ashley. Oh, Alex, thank you for that. Uh, that I'm just like trying to catch my breath after watching that mom. Can't imagine getting that kind of strength, knowing you're going to go up on the stand and face your daughter's murderer, the one who shot your daughter in the face twice and in the heart. Um, Eric Wilson is Mo's dad, and uh, he reacted to the sentence after court today. He said he thought justice was served. Here's how he put it. As a family, we believe justice has been served, and of course, we have many, many people to thank. But first, I want to thank God for giving us strength, comfort, and a measure of peace throughout this process. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.